my fellow scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka and I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And you may notice I'm in a different setting today. I am outside. I'm right outside of our house. So this is still the home edition. It's just outdoors instead of indoors. So many of you may have noticed when you're outdoors that it's starting to get a little warm in the Bay Area. Can you think of why that might be? We're moving towards a certain season. It starts with an S. You got it, it's called summer. And some of us are on summer break from school, which is actually what it's named after. So what ho usually happens in the summertime? It gets warmer, right? You're feeling that already? So I thought, why not take advantage of that heat and do an experiment with it? Well, first of all, where does that heat come from? Well, we have a star that's really close to us, and because it's really close to us and it's very special to us, we call it the sun. Well, the sun has heat and light, and it gives off those types of energy. Well, hopefully, or thankfully, we're so far away that that heat doesn't hurt us, but it does help us. We still can't feel it. So what we're gonna do today is take some solids and see how they react to that heat that the sun is providing to us to see which ones melt and which ones hold on to their solidity. So you guys ready for this? Let me show you what you're gonna need. We'll start with this photograph. This is a muffin tin, that's the silver thing underneath. If you don't have a muffin tin, you can use 12 different cups. And I have objects in each one of those little pockets in the muffin tin. So let's go ahead and label those objects. What are they? Okie dokie. Now you may have been able to guess some of those before you even saw the label. So all of these are things that are safe to go ahead and put out in the sun because I want to make sure that I'm being safe while I'm experimenting. So now that I have all of my objects in my muffin tin, I'm going to go back outside. We're going to make a prediction sheet and I'm going to find a really strong sunbeam without any shade and that's where I'm going to hold my experiment. So let's go back outside. To make my prediction sheet, I just took a plain piece of paper and went ahead and drew a graph that shows all of the different objects that I'm going to test that you saw in those little containers. And then I'm going to predict here, do I think, will it melt? Then after we watch, we'll go ahead and either say, yes, it did melt or no, nah, it didn't really melt. Okay, so going through this. Ice. Well, I remember from an experiment that we did last week that ice melts pretty quickly. So I would say that yes, that's going to melt. Butter, hmm, we use that in cooking a lot, right? And again, thinking about my experiences, it seems to melt pretty quickly in a pan. So once we use the sun, that heat will probably do the same. So I'm going to say yes. Cream cheese. You may have seen this on breakfast, either bagels or toast or things like that. I've never seen it melt, but it usually gets eaten pretty quickly. <laughs> so it kind of looks like butter. So thinking about that, I'm going to say, yes, I think it's going to melt. Ooh, a penny. Hmm. Let's think. Have you ever touched anything that maybe is made of metal that's been in a hot area? It gets warm, but does it melt? I don't think so. So I'm going to say for that one, I'm going to say no. Flowers. Hmm. Think about, have you ever had flowers in a vase before? Again, that's going back on previous experiences. It might wilt, but does that count as melting? Melting's kind of when it gets squishy and kind of spreads out. So maybe they'll get wilted, they'll kind of droop down, but I don't think they're gonna get squishy and kind of liquid-like. So I'm gonna say no. Ooh, rocks. 
what's your experience with rocks? Do you think they're gonna melt? Yeah, I don't think so either. I've seen them in the sun a lot. So let's say no. Uh, the cheese wheel. Let's see, can you think of cooking that you've done with cheese? What happens to most cheese? Like grilled cheese, mac and cheese, nachos? It usually melts, right? Okay, so let's say yes. Apple slice. Hmm. Think it'll get squishy and kind of liquid-like? I don't think so either. So let's say no on that one. Wax. Ooh, have you ever left a crayon out in the sun before? That's made of wax. It usually melts, right? All right, so let's say yes on that one. Get a little squishy and runny. An M&M. Hmm. Made of chocolate with that hard candy outside. What do you think? Yeah? All right, let's give it a go. Let's say yes, that's going to melt. Um, the Milky Ways. It's chocolate again, right? I think your Halloween candy. Yeah, I think so too. That's probably going to melt. And then what do you guys think for the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Think that'll melt too? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so now that we have all of our predictions, get that a little bit closer, now we get to go ahead and bring all of our objects and our materials out, put them in the sun, and see how they do. All right, I've got my muffin tin out in a full sunbeam. It's about 97 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, changed just a little bit. And I watched this for an hour. And what I did was I took a video that we're going to speed up here to under a minute so you can see how all of these objects did. Will they melt? Let's find out. And take a look. You may be seeing shape color or texture changes. Okay, so now that it's been about an hour, let's carefully pick this up and let's observe what melted and what didn't. So after an hour, this is what we're left with. So I'm sorry, you can't see all of it, but we'll go ahead and shift it over in order to get to this side. I have my sheet here with all of my predictions, and now we can go ahead and see, did it melt? Were we right or not? All right, so starting up here, this was the ice cube. So that is a definite yes. That melted. It is gone. That is now water. I'm sure we had a little bit of gas as well, but we just didn't see it. But yes, that's that's all water. It's gone. <laughs> the butter is right here, and you can kind of see how it's a little bit of a liquid. And I also brought some toothpicks just to poke around in there. But you see, that's ah, pretty liquidy. <laughs> that went pretty fast. So yes, that one did melt. All right, what about the cream cheese? You remember we guessed at that one saying that, well, you know, we haven't seen it melt, but if you take a look at that, that's, it hasn't really changed all that much. <laughs> okay, a little bit. And actually it's a little bit crusty on the outside, so that actually became more like a toast. So it didn't melt, it actually kind of toasted, which is a little weird, but hey, you know, it didn't melt. So we're gonna say, nope. <laughs> All right, the penny, I'm not even gonna touch that, but that looks exactly the same. And because it is metal, we'll use another toothpick and kind of poke at it, but nope, didn't change any. Still the same consistency, the whole thing. So we were right, that did not melt. The flowers, take a look. They're kind of crumbly, a little crusty, but they didn't melt, they toasted too. So we were right on that one. It, they did not melt. The rock. Yeah, we were right on the money for that one too. That did not melt. 
That didn't really change at all. Oh, nope. The cheese wheel up here. Yeah, that did melt a little bit. <laughs> it is a little squishy. And as you can see, it changed shape. A little liquidy on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. So yes, that did melt. We were right on that one. The apple slice. Let's see, give that one a poke. That actually feels kind of rubbery. <laughs> so you know what, here's a new word, dehydrated. It lost its water, so it didn't actually melt. Got a little toasty too, so the apple slice, nope, didn't melt. Okay, the wax here, well you can see that it really changed shape and it's still a little liquidy. I can kind of cross through there and get a little on top of that toothpick. So, yep, we were right about that one too. The M&M's, hmm, get another toothpick, I'll look at those. They're still pretty tough. I see a couple of cracks. Let's get this a little closer so you guys can see it. There we go. You can see I'm rolling them around. They're still, they're still solid. <laughs> so those did not melt, even though they were chocolate. Oops, make that X there. All right, and then we have the Milky Way right there. Oh yeah. You see it, that is definitely, that melted. <laughs> you can see kind of the caramel leaking out of the side. <laughs> so that one definitely melted. So we're gonna say yes, we got that one right. And then the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Well, like the Milky Way, it looks pretty solid to start, right? But if I go poking at it, oh, yeah, that goes in pretty easy. The outside especially, look at that. Yeah, I can kind of go around. That definitely melted on the outside. There you go. Okay, so we had some surprises. But most of them we got. My challenge to you, my fellow scientists, is now to go in your house and find 12 different things that are safe to put out in the sun to see what melts and what doesn't. Remember, some things may surprise you. So hashtag below, show us your experiment and especially share maybe what surprises and what things showed up that you didn't expect. That's always nice to see. Remember, when you go to take your objects out of the sun, they're gonna be warm, um, but they also may still be the same shape but have melted a little bit. So use those toothpicks, kind of poke around and see how everything turned out. The sun is very powerful, and especially during these times where it's a little warmer, it works fast. So hope you enjoyed. Thank you again for joining in today. Have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you next time at Science is Everywhere. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.